This might seriously be the best game I've ever played in my entire life. Of all the different thousands of worlds I've explored, bosses I've defeated, game over screens I've unfortunately had to witness, Elden Ring is something different. It's something better. It's something that's going to push the boundaries of video games from here going forward. And I'm dead serious about it. But I want to talk about why. What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here. Now please, if you could, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If this video happens to hit 3,000 likes, I am going to be giving away a copy of Elden Ring over on my Twitter account. Now, this video is going to be completely spoiler free. I just wanted to talk about the idea of Elden Ring and show you some gameplay from about the 15 first hours of the campaign. Now, everything about this game definitely works. I'm actually fascinated by From Software's development system. This studio is, unfortunately, I feel like so much of the conversation around their projects focuses on difficulty, so let's start there. Elden Ring is definitely hard. It is a difficult game in general. It's going to smash you about. You're going to have bosses that are a hundred times your size. You're going to have times where you stumble into a dungeon that you're underleveled for and die a billion times before you realize that maybe you should walk out. But with Elden Ring, death does not feel like a detriment. It doesn't feel like punishment. In a lot of ways, when this game gets its most brutal is when I was having the most fun. That's because Elden Ring is much more focused on the world that you're inside of. Now, in this time, we're playing as this guy who's basically come back from the dead. He used to be a lord long, long ago, and he's returned to life to try and find the pieces of the Elden Ring. Now, what does that mean? It essentially is pushing him to explore all these different lands of the Tarnished. Now, while you're here, every direction you go is correct. There is no way to play this game wrong. As soon as you're dropped into this expansive landscape, you can go in pretty much any direction and just start climbing mountains, trying to find different forts to invade, or just avoiding super roaming bosses that happen to be in the middle of some of the most beautiful fields. But all of this is based on this new central concept, which is that you can play any way you want. You can play this as a mage. You can play it more melee focused. If you want, you can choose to never actually block and instead outroll every single enemy. Elden Ring is a tough game. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm somebody that's beaten every From Software game, including games you've never heard about, stuff like Shadow Tower. This is basically Dark Souls on the PlayStation 1, and it's savage as heck. Elden Ring is harder than even that, but it's also a lot more playable because of this new things that they've introduced, which are called Sites of Grace and Statues of Marika. Now, these are basically like checkpoints. While you're trying to go into these different, very dangerous areas, you'll find these little, like, symbols on the ground. If you die, you get teleported back to that. Now, in general, it feels like this is the most forgiving when it comes to progress. A lot of From Software games would randomly just have a, a trap get sprung, an enemy drop down from the ceiling and eat your delicious face, and then you're just screwed. Repeating content, I feel like, has been some of the biggest thresholds for From Software gamers to get over. Like, when you think about it, even the best game, it sucks to have to go through a really beautiful dungeon a second time. This project is certainly just more focused on getting you back to the action. It's about making sure that the distance between where you're at and where you're going is always as short as possible. But I do want to talk just a tiny bit more about the story itself in vague concepts. One of the strangest approaches to this game is that it's written by George R.R. R. Martin, the guy who wrote Game of Thrones, among other projects. And honestly, his lore this time is much more rich. I always felt like the stories in From Software games were sometimes overly cryptic. In order to understand different characters, bosses, and why there's somebody that looks like a giant dog with a sword in their mouth, you'd have to read like different developer blogs or like item notes. Now, Elden Ring, it's still not super heavily focused. It's still not going to sit down and give you like a 30 minute cutscene, but it feels like the plot is more of a character in this game and your motivations are much more clear. I like Elden Ring because honestly, it feels like I'm now part of the world instead of just being thrust into it. Now, I want to say one last thing about the environments and the graphics. 
This game is beautiful. This game is straight up the best graphics I've seen in a very long time because it feels like it's not trying to replicate reality. I feel like so many games are obsessed with this idea of trying to have photorealism, of just mimicking the exact colors, the exact palettes, the exact style of real life. Whereas Elden Ring, it realizes that part of the glory of video games is that you can do whatever you want. You can actually change the nature of, you know, how does water shimmer? How exactly should uh, all the blood be spattered on yourself? Like sometimes even the sun rays that are coming through the clouds in Elden Ring can seem strangely bleak. It feels like you're screwed in a thousand tiny ways before you even see that next boss that you know is going to wreck you. Now, the reason I point this out is because it feels like one of the most interesting aspects from a game design standpoint is that Elden Ring does not feel like it's trying to drag you in a particular direction. You really can choose to do the dungeons in any order you want. You can choose to go in any direction, any conquest, climb a mountain, throw yourself off a cliff, do whatever you want. Now, the reason I like this is because it feels like everything is equally epic. Everything feels just the exact same intensity from poison swamps to crazy situations that are impossible the second you fall into them. Oh my gosh, it is so fun though. I do want to talk for a second about the progression systems. There's some stuff in this game that is straight up ripped from classic From Software games. Leveling up is just a matter of collecting runes, you know, the same way that you buy new levels with experience points or souls in every other Soulsborne game. This does that. Weapon upgrades, same thing, sort of just done by collecting these exact resources and upgrading the weapons you like the most. But it does sort of feel like these repeated systems actually serve a different purpose, which which is that I think this game is very centered on the idea of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, one of the things I like most about this is that going up to the release of this game, I played through a bunch of previous From Software games again. I beat Dark Souls 3, I finished doing pretty much a master file of Bloodborne, those games are glorious. They're fun. They're incredibly well balanced. They are some very, very refined masterpieces. But this game, it actually feels better than that. And part of that comes down to the very, 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 very delicious sense of motion. While you're trying to explore in Elden Ring, of course, there is a ton of combat. Now, the way you choose to fight can be very, very different from using magical abilities, trying to master different magics, or just just the way you want to fight back. Now, personally, I decided to go much more of a agility build. Basically, what I made it do is that I'm not wearing very much armor, so what I did is I made it where I could always be rolling way faster than my opponents, so I can get behind them, I can get inside their guard, or sometimes just stagger them with a power attack. Now, the motion inside of Elden Ring is the best that this studio has ever worked on. The speed, the pacing, the distance of your rolls, everything about this feels better than ever. It made it where I still died a lot. I'm not going to sugarcoat it in all these games. I don't really consider myself the best, but I feel like when I died, I almost felt happy about it because... Not only is the nearest checkpoint going to be incredibly close by, but additionally, it really felt like when I died, I was always taught a lesson. It sort of reminds me of those like old samurai movies where two people clash and one person falls over dead or something like that, where there is this exact distance and speed to all the actions that everything about this just feels so great. Even when you're dying, you feel like, I'm going to get this guy next time and it feels fantastic. I want to just quickly say a huge thank you to everybody that supports this channel. And for a very strange reason, playing this game before it comes out has been such a freaking ridiculous experience. Because honestly, everybody who's playing this after you watch this video, you're probably going to have strategy guides. If you get stuck on a boss, you can just Google their name and say like tactics. I had to go into this blind. I have no idea where I'm at. I have no idea what I'm doing. It has been such a fun time having no idea what the heck the purpose of these skills and keys and stuff are. But 
That's part of the reason I decided to make this video so spoiler free. I just want to show you some general stuff, some general combat, and some general hype because I love, love, love this game. If I could say any at all detriments, I do think that I did run into a couple technical problems. A couple times where frame rate got screwy, colors got a little bit messed up, and I did have one hard crash. But other than that, it's been such a good time. People are going to be spending hundreds and hundreds of hours in this game, and every bit of it is going to be a gory good time. But, all right, we've heard a lot of good and a little bit of bad, but let's go over the ratings board and put a big number on it. I am giving Elden Ring a 10 out of 10. I'm still just in absolute shock about the perfection of this experience. Like, I've always been a fan of From Software games. I've always appreciated the idea of this, like, very savage world of the dead. But this is so much better than I ever could have imagined. More than I could have dreamed. More than I've ever experienced in the past. I am serious when I say that video games are going to be different after this. Every studio is going to be looking at this experience and saying, how the heck can we possibly keep up? And honestly, I have no idea. Thank you so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a giant thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.